Now I'm gonna go over how to update your Sonos system to the new Sonos S2 system that they just released. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and make sure that all of your Sonos devices are compatible with the new system. Most of them are, but there are a few older ones that won't come over and won't work on the new S2 system. There's a link in the description below where you can go ahead and see what devices will work and which ones won't. Once you figure that out, um, if you have, if all of your devices will work on the new system, then there's no problem. You can continue watching this video. If some of your devices will come over, but not all of them, there's a few that won't, just know you can stay on the old system and use the old app just like you have before, but you won't get new software updates for any of those products. Um, or you can split your system. You can take all the devices that will work on the new S2 system and move them over and create a new system. And then use your old Sonos products through the old Sonos app and system on your device if you want to. So that's a decision you're gonna kinda go ahead and have to make on your own. But if you're ready and you can just transfer all your stuff over because all of your speakers are compatible with the new system, then you're good to go. Download the app, the links for the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store for the new Sonos app are in the description below. Once you have those downloaded, go ahead and open it. And once you do, you'll be greeted at this um, welcome page here that you can swipe through and it gives you some information or you can go ahead and just hit the skip bottom button down at the bottom. Then here you need to click on view terms of use. So go ahead and tap on that. Once here you can read through all of this if you really want to or you can just close back out and tap accept. Once you do that, um, you'll see a few different options here and one of them says set up a new system so if you're starting from scratch and this is your first sono speaker you want to do that or if you're going to have some speakers on your old system and some speakers on the new system because some of them might not be compatible you want to go ahead and tap set up a new system and set up all your s2 compatible speakers on the new system but if all of your stuff um, if all your devices and speakers will work on the S2 system, you just want to hit join existing system. Once you tap on that, it's going to need some access to a few things on your phone. Just click continue. Once it's connected to your system, just click done. And now you'll see that you have an update button here. This is going to update all your um, speakers that are compatible on the new Sonos S2 system to that new S2 system. Um, so you're going to go ahead and tap on update. And you have to go ahead and type in the information here for your Sonos account. Once you've typed in the login information, go ahead and tap on update. And then it's going to go ahead and take a few minutes here to update your system. Once it's updated, go ahead and tap on done. And there you go. You can see you've updated your system and everything that um, was on your old system is now on the new system as long as they are S2 compatible. Um, again, you can find the link in the description below that goes over what devices are compatible with the, with the new system and which ones aren't. Um, and if all your devices are compatible, just go ahead and make the switch. As you can see, it was pretty easy to do. If you're familiar with the old Sonos app, this new Sonos app will look very similar. It just kind of has a fresh coat of paint on it. Um, but you can see you got your same tabs down here with your rooms and your settings and the music and everything. So, and here you can group rooms and um, do whatever you need to do. But that's how you go and move your system over um, to the new S2 system using the new Sonos app. Hopefully that helps.
Thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can get notified about other helpful tech videos I post to the channel. Thanks for watching.